Hello folks, this is the Automotive Reviews, and today we have here the world's first super truck. Who would ever thought that there would be a name, Super Truck. 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower. And that is an estimate. Can you imagine that? 11,500 pound feet of torque. <laughs> what a beast. Open air infinity roof. How refreshing. And look at those stars that you can see through the super truck's roof. Zero to sixty. Three seconds. Warp speed. And a pickup truck. A super truck. Amazing. Beautiful outdoors. And then there was darkness. And then there's life. Open your eyes, folks. The 2022 GMC Hummer EV SUT $70,000 super truck. In an amazing twist of fate, General Motors gas guzzling middle finger flying Hummer brand discontinued in 2010 is poised to make a comeback for the 2022 as an all-electric sub-brand of GMC. We know very little about the GMC Hummer EV SUT pickup truck so far, but what we do know that it will offer 1,000 horsepower and GMC claims it's capable of blasting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.0 seconds pickup trucks are clearly the next frontier for electric vehicles as potential rivals from upstarts such as Rivian, Boolinger, and Tesla as well as entrance truck makers such as Ford are preparing their own entries into the emerging segment. But what we have here it's a 2022 GMC Hummer EV SUT. And what an amazing pickup truck. Or should I say super truck. Look at the wheels. We don't have any other pictures, but what we do have is this. And boy oh boy, is it amazing. And does it look, does it look powerful. A $70,000 piece of work. Look like it's about his business. Now if you were a construction worker and you saw this pickup truck, you would have to get assistance to get your jaw off the floor. This is amazing folks. An amazing super truck. While Hummer is an old name, the Hummer EV SUT will be an all new model for the GMC lineup. General Motors says the new electric pickup truck will launch in late 2021 as a 2022 model. Pricing, hmm, and which one to buy? The Hummer EV again is estimated at $70,000. Now we aren't even sure yet what kind of standard or optional equipment will be available. Our price the Hummer EV SUT will command. We'll find out much more about the new pickup truck as it inches closer and closer to production. Now the engine transmission and performance. Now we've heard that the Hummer EV SUT will be available with one, two, or three electric motors. The single unit suggests 
a rear drive model, while the two and three motor setup indicate two different all-wheel drive potencies and punchy acceleration. So punchy, in fact, that GMC is claiming 3.0 seconds, 0 to 60 miles per hour, folks. Time for the truck. Every additional electric motor should provide increasing payload or towing capacities. GMC claims that the Hummer EV SUT will make 1,000 horsepower and a whopping 11,500 pound-feet of torque. While we take issue with how the misleading torque numbers is calculated, it should have massive pulling power regardless. And boy oh boy, isn't it going to be amazing. Now, speaking of towing and payload, in order to be competitive with a Cybertruck and Rivian R1T and R15 models, the Hummer EV we need to boast towing capacities between 7,500 and 11,000 pounds, as well as a payload capacity between 1,500 and 3,500 pounds. Now, since this is an electric vehicle, there are some other things that are also important too, such as the range, charging, and battery life. The Hummer EV SUT will ride on GM third generation EV platform. The company also said that its truck-based model will have 800 volt architecture with 350 kilowatt fast charging capabilities. That indicates the Hummer could have a driving range of up to 400 miles. And boy oh boy would that be quiet being an electric vehicle. You can imagine going through the woods and no one hearing you coming. I saw a commercial about this with the Ford Bronco. It wasn't the Bronco, but it was something else. No, it was the Jeep. And it was electric, and the wildlife was just that peaceful. So it's saying that you would be able to see things that you would not be able to see. in a car with an internal combustion engine. Because it's so quiet. Now let's get back to this EV SUT. Now the fuel economy doesn't exist yet. It's unknown what kind of fuel economy such as the vehicle would offer. But when it makes it to production, you know, you can test the big brute by 200. Um, they'll, they'll be testing again. They usually they do 200 miles. We'll see. Now the, in, the interior and comfort that's another question. The Hummer EV SUT cab configurations haven't been announced, but you can expect GM will likely uh, s skip the regular and extended cab body styles and render the Hummer EV SUT only as a four-door crew cab. Now, if the GMC Sierra crew cab pickup truck is anything to go by, you can expect two spacious rows of seating and practical touches such as large storage bins throughout the cabin. So it's going to be amazing and I'm sure there's going to be little touches showing that this is an electric vehicle and not an internal combustion engine. Now infotainment and connectivity you can expect a high-tech touchscreen interface to go along with the tech forward EV powertrain a host of connectivity features will likely be standard including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capabilities, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and GMC OnStar telematic system. Now as far as safety and assistance and driving features, uh, Tesla semi-autonomous uh, autopilot feature is the one to beat in the EV marketplace, but lucky the Hummer is going to have that GM Super Cruise system and it's just as capable. Now we expect to see this uh, feature available as an option on a new electric truck with less advanced features such as uh, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring being available as well. And boy oh boy you don't know what kind of com how comfortable 
this will be if it has this semi-autonomous driving, which is that GM Super Cruise. You're just going to be relaxed. A long day at work, you've been out in the sun all day, or you've been on a construction site, you get in this baby, and you get on that highway, you're just going to feel really, really good. Those air-cooled seats, and uh, just looking at the road, feeling relaxed, you'll be able to look at your cell phone, you really ain't supposed to, but when you do in these semi-autonomous cars, as long as you're paying attention, it's driving itself. It's just amazing. Someone call you, you just look over at your phone and you want to do something or you're feeling that anxiety and you just got to look. Nothing to worry about. You don't lose, you don't lose nothing. You know, you just keep your eyes on the road. But if you have to look away at a cell phone, shh, man, it's nothing. And comfort and relaxation is just off the chain. You just get a peace of mind even though you are alert. It feels like you got nannies or somebody else just in there you know, help you along the way, especially when you're working those long weeks to pay off this seventy thousand uh, dollar car note, which will probably run you up to fourteen hundred bucks. Now the warranty, of course it's gonna be three year thirty six thousand miles bumper to bumper, sixty thousand mile powertrain. Now with electric batteries is a little different. Now the powertrain being five year sixty thousand miles, but the hybrid components I usually cover the 100,000 miles, especially on these electric cars, so you can expect it to be a 100,000 mile warranty for the hybrid components. Uh, complimentary maintenance, and that's covered for your first visit with GMC. And let's take a look at some of these, um, at some of the things that went into it, making this beautiful super truck. Um, this is just a factory and just something to give you an idea of just what's going on in uh, designing this awesome super truck. This looks like the motor that's involved and it's just awesome folks. This is the engineers and everybody working. And it looks like the batteries. And one thing about this super truck, it's got a, it's going to have a low center of gravity, and so you're going to be able to handle corners and do everything. It's going to be a whole different ride than driving the internal combustion engine. And this is the uh, designers uh, making a design, which is pretty cool, etching off the the clay and all that. This is just nice. Again, this is just awesome too as far as you have this. You know, they're making a model. Really, really just a nice setup. What, a, what an awesome, awesome SUV and American job. This is the world's first super truck. And 1,000 horsepower. 11,500 pound feet of torque. Open air infinity roof. 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. And that's a down <laughs> view from looking from a drone. And again, you have the Hummer EV. This is a Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.